All right, so today we're going to do our desolder masking for the iPhone 3GS PCB. All right, now that our PCB's been soaking in there for about five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Notice I'm using gloves for protection on this. The uh, water is actually still considerably warm. I can already see that the uh, solder mask is actually starting to come off on parts of the PCB. I've got a towel here I'm gonna rub it down with so that we might be able to clean it off all the way. It took off some of the mask, but not as much as I was hoping. We're going to give this another try. Okay, my first attempt at removing the solder mask did not work entirely the way that I was hoping. We removed a very thin layer of the solder mask. You can kind of see through it, uh, as can be seen by the fact that there is a lot of blue and green on my paper towel here that I was using to scrub it. So some of it came off, but not all of it. So what I'm going to do this time I've got the liquid drain or crystals here on the bottom. Because of the reaction of aluminum with sodium hydroxide being an exothermic reaction, it creates a lot of heat. What I'm going to do is put the PCB on top of the liquid drain or crystals. I'm going to fill this uh, beaker on the left up with water and I'm going to get it up to boiling, bring it out here and pour it inside of here so that our base water temperature is already starting off somewhere near boiling and allow the reaction to either keep it around boiling or somewhere right below it. I'm assuming that the uh, excessive heat that's going to be directly on the PCB will allow this to properly work this time. Alright, hot boiling water into a container with my circuit board. Let's go. All right, my reaction's gone ahead and died down now that it has. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the circuit board is looking like right now, our PCB. See all that copper? No, I don't have any uh, plastic tweezers, which I would highly recommend you use if you're gonna do this. And because I don't have any, I gotta use my hands, but I've already let my uh, solution cool down, so. Alright. Off to the side. Show you what this guy's looking like now. That's what we got so far. One side and then the other. Alright, so that's what we got right there after dropping in our hot water. Once again, I would not recommend doing this. 
the reason that I am doing it is because I do not have a hot plate nor any other means of heating up my solution especially because I don't have pure sodium hydroxide I only have Drano crystals which come with aluminum so pretty much it's a prepackaged it's a prepackaged reaction minus the water so obviously I can't add the water and then start raising the temperature because the moment I raise the water it's going to start boiling out of control so gotta improvise sometimes Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll have more videos coming later. Bye-bye.